Okay guys, I'm going to be talking about the Uzbekistan versus India women's international friendly that took place on 5th. Yeah, 5th April. Uh full time whistle has just blown, so I'm fresh out of the match and uh, wanted to just share my thoughts. Firstly, it was very unfortunate that there was no stream for it. Uh, the only telecast available was on the Uzbekistan FA's YouTube channel, which is where everybody tuned in. Secondly, before getting into the match, I'm very, very fortunate to be wearing this Blue Pilgrims India scarf. I cannot wait to wear it to stadiums in 2022, especially with the Under-17 Women's World Cup and the AFC Women's Championship. Can't wait to rep blue there. But coming back to the fixture, Uzbekistan versus India. Now, this is an international break with a lot of. Match is going to take place. India and Uzbekistan are obviously kicking off this international break. This fixture was actually it even showed up on ESPN, which was pretty exciting. I don't think I've seen India up there before. I, I could be wrong. I haven't checked that in a while, but it was nice to see India, Uzbekistan, followed by all the the bigger nations, whatever Australia, Netherlands, USA, Sweden coming up. Again, talking about it on Twitter, got a few of my Chelsea friends. to watch the game as well shout out to luisa for tuning in tweeting her thoughts during the game as well that was really awesome to see and to everyone else obviously the indians who were watching even from outside india very special and i'm really glad that we could talk interact uh, discuss the match the details the proceedings because this match was uh, was quite unique i feel so right out of the gate uzbekistan were dominating for the first 20 or 35 minutes of the first half the ball was in india's defensive half our back line was just falling all over the place you know clearing last ditch tackles aditi chauhan had a lot of work to do in goal uh, anju you know finding herself in really great positions to actually make these tackles and keep the score line nil nil at half time india did not have too many chances in the first half we were barely finding our footing if i could say but it was a very gritty performance uzbekistan are ranked 41 and india are ranked 53 in the fifa rankings so there is a difference we're playing a higher ranked team in their home ground on their home turf there was an early yellow card for india in this match and towards the end of the half manisha had a long range shot that went over the bar so we did see signs and glimpses of any attacking prowess from india but that was curbed and curtailed just by the relentless onslaught of uzbekistan uh, attacking us again and again slipping the ball back behind our line but yeah credit to india for holding the ground in the first half So yeah, India had their bodies on the line for the entire half. At half time, the the stadium DJ played Chak Tez theme song, which was pretty cool. The Uzbekistan FA is in my good books because of that. Uh but yeah, the second half whistle blew and we were underway again. A similar story there, you know, just a lot of attacking prowess from Uzbekistan. At one point you were wondering what does Uzbekistan have to do to score or to actually convert? Aditi Chauhan was pulling in a shift, our back line was putting in a shift. Um our forwards were trying to link up when they could but they were being cut off by Uzbekistan's defensive line. And then we have towards the 80th minute a break and one on one with the keeper, we miss our chance unfortunately the keeper gets a hand to it, slows the ball down and it goes out of play. Then we have a corner which comes back in and another shot on goal which was cleared off the goal line by an Uzbekistan player. So that was suddenly a glimmer of hope. We suddenly thought that oh we're in for a thriller here. And uh thriller it was, you know. I think it was the 87th minute or something to that effect where Uzbekistan actually got a free kick dead center in front of goal but a good 10 15 yards outside our box. And uh, the player stepped up and rifled it in the top corner. Uh an outstretched Aditi actually got a finger tips to it but it hit the bar and went in. And I <laughs> Firstly apologies to my dorm mates who heard me scream. Yeah, I mean I had mixed feelings for that one. One India conceded in the dying minutes. It was unlikely that we were going to get an equalizer. But two, what a free kick. What a shot. I'm going to put that clip in here if you haven't watched it already. I'm hoping I don't get copyrighted so I'm going to cut out the commentary and you're going to hear me commentate on this. But it was a, it was an excellent shot. You have to watch this. Oh, and she steps up and Whoa, what a free kick. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um right. That's about it, you know. Uh video is very long, so I'm going to cut it short. Full time was because on 1 India 0. There were about 2000 odd people tuning into that YouTube live stream. India played Belarus in a couple of days. I'm hoping to see that number at least double if not triple. 
you know, we have to back the blues and the blues include the men and the women and the under 17 women and the under 17 men as well. It's just about backing the nation, wearing the scarf and calling ourselves proud Indian football fans. So I'm happy that I could do this small video right after the match. Hopefully you guys have learned something. Hopefully uh, this was useful to you. If not, it doesn't matter. I will still continue making these just because I know that creating content, conversation and coverage on these games will only increase the viewership and the demand to have these games streamed live. People talking about it on Twitter with me. Thank you so much for engaging. I'm going to reply to everyone if I haven't already. It's really special that you guys have tuned in. I know people messaging me tuned in from US um, and places you know outside of India as well, which is really special to see. So that's it for me, Radha, uh, at She Talks Ball. Follow us on Twitter. You can follow me at Radha Lat Gupta. You can follow She Talks Ball on Twitter as well. And yeah, just continue engaging. That's just, it makes my day when, when people you know engage on women's sports content because it means people are watching and it means people want to watch which means we'll find a telecast for it eventually. Yeah, until then, see you.